What's up guys, how's it going, PJ here, and in this video I'm going to show you a full upgrade of PS4 hard drive. I have a SSD 1TB in my hand that cost me like only 89 bucks. You guys, 89 bucks for a SSD 1TB is one hell of a deal. Uh, in case you are wondering where did I find this, I bought this on eBay. Now, uh, you can probably find the same hard drive at this very moment. Uh, on this date or around this date for around $100 price range uh, you just have to look around I'm gonna put the link in the description bar please make sure you read the description bar I have everything listed uh, whatever I'm gonna do in this video so here we go step by step this is how you upgrade a PS4 hard drive alright now the fastest way for an update will be to just skip this video and head on to this article that I'm going to link you guys in the description bar. Uh, PlayStation official website has posted a uh, upgrade PS4 HDD article or uh, you know how to basically do this whole process of upgrading your hard drive. Uh, you guys know what I'm trying to say um, and as you guys can see from the screen they have listed step by step uh, how to do this thing. Um, so you can basically do that instead of just watching this video because that's simply what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go in short form what I'm going to do right now. Basically, I'm going to back up all the data on my USB uh, storage device. It could be an external device. It could be your uh, USB storage uh, device, just like those little thumb drive. Uh, you guys already know how to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure this is year 2013, but this is for the people who don't know how to do it. All right. Now, uh, another thing you need to do this. Some people usually forget about this, but uh, this is one of the main steps. Uh, you need to make a folder uh, in that storage device uh, named PS4. Following folder would be update. And the next would be the latest update that you can find it on their official website. Uh, it's listed in the step-by-step -step process. I'm just letting you guys know because that's one of the main steps. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this um, thing so you can actually watch it how I do it. Okay, I want to quickly mention this. I just got done doing my upgrade for PS4 and it was successful. Everything is in there. Uh, perfectly fine the way it's supposed to be but I have to mention this PS4 has a hard time recognizing some of the USB devices I don't know why don't ask me I had uh, some trouble with it but I'm gonna say this uh, if you want your USB device to you know read it properly by PS4 what you need to do is uh, format the USB device I had a 2 gigabyte uh, USB stick so I uh, ran a FAT32 uh, format on it and after that everything was fine it was reading my USB stick perfectly fine I don't know why even a uh, GameSpot they made a video about it and they said the same thing so that's how I came to know credit to them um, I just wanted to say that before anybody goes ahead do anything you know so there you go now I'm gonna go on with the upgrade okay so the first things first people who want to try this um, you can format your USB stick. If you are using it and if you're not afraid to delete all the files from the small USB stick because I have like plenty of them so I use the one that I really don't care about. I deleted everything and I formatted it and afterwards I downloaded the system software update from the PlayStation website which is linked in the description bar. You can download it. After that downloading it make sure you create a folder named PS4 after that create another folder in PS4 named update and in that update folder place your downloaded software update alright after that okay so now we're gonna go on PS4 we're gonna back up all the data from PS4 hard drive to your external hard drive or a USB storage device and in order to do so we need to go under settings go under application saved data management followed by save data in system storage and then we're gonna copy to USB storage device as you guys can see I have three files and I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them and copy it to my USB storage device a quick note if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber you can also upload it up on online storage okay after that turn off your PS4 and unplug all the wires and after doing so what you need to do is just take off this cover and it just slides off very easily 
there's no pressure needed. All right, after doing so, what you guys need to do is use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the main PlayStation screw, which is located on the hard drive. I call it the PlayStation screw because it looks pretty awesome and it looks like a PlayStation button. I mean, look at that. That is a beauty. And after doing so, what you guys need to do is slide off that hard drive, which is located in the hard drive bay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unscrew the four main screws which are located on the mounting bracket for PS4 hard drive. And you guys want to be really careful because they're kind of like a rubber things made inside. It's like a rubber insert um, under the screw holes. So you guys want to be really careful. Do not remove those rubber inserts. And as you guys can see, the uh, old hard drive slides off pretty easily. Go ahead and put the uh, new SSD in. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the four main screws back on the mounting bracket where the PS4 hard drive is located, or SSD now. And after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and screw the main PlayStation screw back into the same spot where it's supposed to belong. Okay, put the main PlayStation bay cover back into the same spot. It just snaps in pretty easily. And after doing that, put all the wires together. And start up your PS4 by holding down the main power button for 7 seconds. After that, you're going to hear a beep. And it's going to take you straight to the safe mode. And make sure a USB stick is connected with the new system data in it. And go all the way down to the bottom where it says initialize PS4 reinstall system software what we're gonna do is reinstall the software that we had last time on PS4 just give a few minutes to reinstall the just give a few minutes to reinstall the system update and as you guys can see my uh, couple of old messages are trying to pop up on my PS4 that was already there I think it's just loading it on the uh, new hard drive Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little tip. You have to have game installed beforehand of downloading the saved data, which is on your external hard drive or USB stick. Uh, it won't let you uh, download your saved data, which is on your uh, external hard drive. You have to have game installed. So there you go. I think that should be it. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Um, you can change the system settings afterwards. You know, you can play around whatever you guys want to do. Uh, other than that, if you guys do have any problems, try restarting your PS4. I ran into a couple of minor, minor, very minor problems as like raiding my USB stick. Uh, but then again, I think I covered up pretty much everything. So that's it. I'm going to show you my final storage, what it looks like. And as you guys can see from the screen, it's 800 something gigs. I can't read it because I'm... Um, looking at my editing window so there's not much to see guys thanks for watching this video please give me a like on this video and post any comments uh, if you run into some trouble I may reply you guys back but then again please look at the description box it shows you all the information on how to do this upgrade step by step thanks for watching again bye bye